Okay, I found a nice cool day where I could do my brake fluid flush or drain and replace the brake fluid out of my car. And um, first thing I'm going to do is take this battery cable off. Um, basically, I have anti lock brakes. You could either do that or you can um, pull the relay and the fuse for the anti lock brake system, which most likely is in this um, panel here. But by taking the battery cable off, I think I'd do the same thing. Here's where my brake fluid um, reservoir is. And we're going to be draining that and draining all the brake fluid out of this system and putting new brake fluid in. Now what I have is a small hose, probably a quarter inch, a turkey baster, and some dot three brake fluid. I got a lot of it because it's going to be flushing it too. And I got a pan to um, put the brake fluid in. So I got the battery disconnected and I got the cap off. It had a little filter on it. But um, most cars are going to have this. This is for a Santa Fe, but it's probably the same for every car. Just make sure you have the battery disconnected for the NA brake system. So it usually says on the cap what kind of brake fluid you have. Mine says dot three. Some may say dot four. I'll put my turkey baster in and suck out all this um, brake fluid and I have a little bottle here to put it in there's a lot in there and it's not going to be all of it. You're still going to have some on the line. Surprised how much. You're going to need that big bottle of brake fluid. Should probably have a towel here too, by the way. It's pretty nasty. The more you get out of here, the better it's going to be when you do it. Quicker. Definitely going to need to clean up with a towel. Alright, I think we got most of it. Yeah, that's most of it. That's all I'm going to get out of that. So wipe it down with a towel. You don't want the stuff getting on any of your paint. And this stuff is going to be clear, so it's going to be nice. And just fill, fill that back up a little bit. You don't have to go to the max or anything. Just make sure you got some in there. You can see it on the side how high it gets. Uh, I might put a, more than I normally would because it's just going to spit it out on the other ends. All right, that should be enough for now. So that's filling the reservoir. Now we're going to drain it from the brake side. Okay, I found this online for the brake fill pattern. Rear passenger, front driver, rear driver, and then front passenger. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I added a couple more parts. I got my jack stand, the pro lift, and I got a lead pipe to help me get the um, lugs off the wheel. I got my drill with um, a large um, spark plug socket, which fits the um, lugs. So I'll manually remove the lugs with the um, wrench, and then as it gets loose, I'll use my drill to help me out. I also got a three-ton jack that I'll be holding up the car. And I might have a second support as well at the same time. I don't take chances with supports usually. Even though on this you're probably going to not even go under the car. You're just going to go by the tire. Okay, on the Santa Fe, the um, valve to get the um, brake fluid out is right here. So we hook the hose up to that. And then we start pumping and we get it clear. And then we can move on. We tighten it up back up. You got to loosen this nut here, but it's right here. It's got this little rubber cap on it. 
We're probably going to do um, a rotation of tires while we're here. Why not? All right, to get that that bolt loose, I had to go counterclockwise, and I used a 10 millimeter ratchet. Don't use a wrench, but you got to go counterclockwise. All right, I got quite a bit of it out of the um, system. It's still kind of green tintish, but I mean, I I really drained a lot of it. I probably I did about 25 brake pedal stops, pushing the brake down, letting go, pushing the brake down, letting go. So now I need actually help. Somebody's gonna have to push it down halfway, and then I'll tighten the nut up so it has pressure in it. As you're pumping on the brake, make sure that the master cylinder doesn't lose brake fluid. Constantly refill it as you pump. Probably after 10 brake pushes start refilling it all right push let go push all right push it's actually easier to do it this way without the hose just let it drip push push and then ready set wait a minute push all right let go Took a lot of brake fluid out of this one section, so it should be enough. There's a lot in the pan. Never did turn fully yet clear, but I think it's good. We'll go to the next one. So to speed up the process of getting these jacks up, because they're manual, I use this um, socket that has all those pins in it, and I pretty much just put it on my drill. So then I switched to this um, drill with the um, spark plug socket, the really big one, and I, I pull the, um, I loosen these bolts with my wrench, and I pretty much just use this to get, to get it off the rest of the way. It saves a lot of time. Okay, I'm on the last one, the front passenger side and the dust cap is missing on this one but what are you going to do and um, I've been rotating the tires as I go along so this is my last one okay for a final step make sure that the um, brake fluid reservoir is up to max and that your battery cables back connected and then we'll do a test run and we'll come back and look at that again to make sure that it's still at this max level all right, so I completed the brake fluid flush. Um, this is how to replace your brake fluid or how to flush your brake system in an ABS system. And it, it took me a long time to do this, I'm not gonna lie. It took me two hours to um, replace all the brake fluid in this car, basically because I had to take all four wheels off manually, use multiple jacks, and um, those tires are getting pretty heavy for me to lift nowadays. They're, they're not very light. And um, the actual brake flushing and stuff isn't that hard to do. You do need somebody else to help you with it because at the end you have to have them put their foot on the brake pedal as you tighten up the nut. This is usually a $150 job. And the brake fluid only cost me less than $10. So um, that's how you save your money. And it's not that hard to do. As I said, it's, it's just that you have to rotate those jacks. And at the same time, I rotated my tires. So I couldn't just do one tire and then the other tire. Then the, I had to tap three, three sides of the car on a jack at the same time to replace all four tires. So um, it's very easy to do. And it saves you quite a deal, bit of money. That brake fluid is going to get all over the place. I don't care what you do. You're going to spill brake fluid somehow. This is Design, Build, Fix, Review. 
with how to replace your brake fluid or how to flush your brake system in an ABS system.